it's my birthday. Hello all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome back to the channel. And since it is my birthday today, the big four nine, I thought what better way to celebrate my birthday than by listening to Ren and sharing it with all of you. I loved the Troubles song that he did and whenever he does it acoustic, we know that it's gonna be something crazy different. He always manages to put a different spin on it and I love that. I'm assuming this will be just as spectacular. If you like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe for my birthday. Drop a comment down below, click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. Without further ado, let's check it out. So he's just got a car studio now. Impressive. Oh, Lord, you trouble so high. Oh, Lord, you trouble so high. And though nobody know my troubles but God, though nobody know. Troubles with God. I don't reach into the past very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts. Leave me stuck when I reach it. Memories are seeped in hydrochloric acid. I go to war and get passive and freeze up. Music help the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor. Pull it out of the impossible. Caliber sword, etching no pass for the reasons why my feelings are sore. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. Nineteen, young teen, waking up bitten. Posters up, man, hunt, ran, went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first hit maybe was the hardest. Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass. Brain in the lion's den, body in the shark pit. Waking up in pain again, aching, broken hearted, persistent. Little bugger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every single question answered with a question on the end. The second year I came to terms with giving up my dreams, mine severed from the means that helped me write these rhyme schemes. Brain was inflamed, the fatigue was crushing. Hard to remain sane with your brain combusting. And the third year was murder, living in a purgatory full of worry, wouldn't live to be 30. Lifestyle hurt me, always in my bed, tomb, rearranged the alphabet, all the letters spelled doom, light hurt my eyes, popping pills to survive. When you're 23 and mentally you steadily decline, 24 I was poor, disability benefits, what's the benefit of disability, it's irrelevant, 25? Just really listening to his lyrics. He's such a great storyteller. And for him to be able to pull from this tragic past that he has, I can't imagine going through this at such a young age, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I mean, it must have been just like this hole that he felt like he couldn't get out of. He'd get a foothold and then it would break and then he'd fall back down. And it was like, he'd think he would find an answer and a doctor would just throw him some more pills and, oh, it's definitely going to help. You're bipolar and thinking that you have an answer and then realizing that's not the answer. This is something that so many people know all too well. No matter what the diagnosis ends up being, how many diagnoses did he get that were wrong, that were having him on pills for illnesses that he didn't have. Just my own experience, you know, I was stuck on antidepressants for 10 years because the physical withdrawals of getting off of those was so intense that I was like, I'll just stay on them then because I can't function feeling like I've got a zap in my brain every 10 seconds. I can't function trying to take care of children and live my life that way. And no doctor will ever tell you that when they put you on these medications. It wasn't helping me for what I was actually prescribed it for, but I couldn't get off. 
And so 10 years later, I had to do my own research in how to get off of these things. I still have long-term effects. I still get brain zaps when I'm super tired, and that will probably last me my entire life. In my own little way, I understand that cycle of medication and you know, feeling like you're just trapped in that situation. Nothing like what Ren went through, but in the back of my mind, it's still something that makes me angry that no doctor ever warned me about. And at the same time, Ren is who he is today because of all of this. I remember him saying that, you know, if I had to choose to go back and never have gone through this, I don't know that I would have changed it. That's kind of a sobering thought. Benefits. What's the benefit of disability? It's irrelevant. 25 the scars that were etched, they crack. Elastic bands only stretch so far and then snap deep in psychosis. Hallucinations, trouble vision, visits from the underworld but conjuring my superstition. 25, living back at home with my mum, but not because I'm a bum, alone and physically done. So thin, so frail, so weak I'd become. And my skin so pale, never kissed by the sun. One time I carved a hole in my chest just to feel I wish that was a metaphor, the struggle was real When you're living in the holocaust you buckle and kneel There's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel Facts 26 I'm highly medicated And the pain's sophisticated While I'm lying broken naked on my back I put my microphone into my coffin Started dropping both thoughts With a grim reaper knocking on the track But then man, lo and behold I saw this angel back and on the treacherous road was the stem cell doctor with the generous glow and the cell transplant brought me out of the cold and my skin got younger and my body got stronger and my stomach felt hunger for a door that was closed and my soul heard music for the first time beauty was a word i'd used with this gift of gold oh lord i forgive you lord i forgive you lord i forgive you make me hold this music i give you Pain that I live through, everything I've been through is yours to hold. Oh, Lord, you know, trouble so high. Oh, Lord, you know, trouble so high. And though nobody knows my troubles but God, though nobody knows my Troubles with God. Woo! Calgary Tower. Been there a few times. Oh, didn't think it was going to get me the second time. But uh, he can just put a whole new spin on this song. And it's like even more heartfelt when he breaks it down and makes it so musical. I don't even begin to know how he set everything up in a car it's like troubles unplugged what does that really mean though because he is plugged in to an amp of some sort Ugh. now as far as i know i think ren was finishing his treatment up in april so i'm not sure if he's still living in calgary now or if he's headed back to the uk this is clearly filmed in Calgary, and for any of you Canadians out there watching, I was born only about three hours away from Calgary in beautiful British Columbia. So I have been to Calgary numerous times. My grandma still lives there, as do some aunts and uncles and cousins, but I do not miss the winters. I think that might have also been a shock for Ren. <laughs> it gets cold there. I just love these acoustic versions that he does. They're so much more, I don't know, like raw and they just feel so pure. The thing with Ren's music is the emotions that come out of him when he sings, it's palpable. There's no faking that. And I think that's why he gets through to so many people and why he has helped so many people because he's so authentic and he is just such a gift. And I'm sure every day to him now feels like a gift because of all of the struggles that he's been through thinking that he wasn't going to make it to 30 and he's now what 34 he probably just relishes every second that he's able to do this kind of stuff and build his health back up so thank you ren for continuing to bless us with your killer music i hope all of you out there are having a wonderful day and as i always say we'll see you in the next one peace mm -hmm.